Do you guys have a really unique episode from that? Yes. We do, we do, yes. yes. It was uh, really fun. It was great. It was, just the two of us. It, was uh, it, it was a lot of dialogue, but it sort of slowed down the pace of filming. So that was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. And they definitely, because it was just the two of us, they let us kind of live in it a little bit. We had the time to explore these things because it was a different episode because the puzzle is so complicated that like you're shooting scenes and you're like, what does this mean? And then you're like, oh right, this is because this is a trigger for this scene. And so in the midst of us figuring each other out as where we stand as a relationship, a couple, we're just as much figuring out what the crime was that left the lab empty. Yes. And I love the director of this episode, John Haddon. Yeah, did a great job. He's like a lovely guy. So it's been great working. It's the second time we've worked with him. And it was fun because we drop a little bit of like, some Easter eggs that if you are paying attention, you'll notice. And if not, it's one of those episodes that you're going to want to go back and be like, now that you know the end game, you're like, oh my gosh, that end. makes yeah. so much sense. And so that was really fun to kind of drop little hints and little yeah. you know, oddities and, and yeah. stuff. So Cameron has a new role in the Stitch Lab. He's yes. kind of moved up. He's the new Maggie. Um, how is that going to affect kind of his relationships within the lab itself? Oh, uh, I think he's kind of like been given some, you know, some tough love from his co-workers and friends about, you know, like, come on boss, you gotta, you know, play the boss card. He's like, I'm not this guy, I don't want this job. But in it, I think he gets a certain kind of confidence that, yeah, he definitely matures and grows, and eventually it comes to a head with Maggie, he's like, look, you can, you know, look me in the eye, you know, the, the boss to boss, the manager to manager, whatever. What is the purpose of this program? And she eventually kind of lets him in on that because he eventually comes to her and says, I'm not doing this if you don't tell me. And so then there's a mutual respect at that moment between Cameron Kirsten and Maggie because we are without all of us, there's... He also figures out what his priorities are. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So do we see any kind of closure at the end of the season between Kirsten and Kirsten? I would say you see a closure within the mythology that you've been watching for the first three seasons. That definitely comes to a, a close. But it's a it, very it, satisfying it, fan moment in episode 9. But the twist of the finale, the cliffhanger, is literally draw dropping where you're like, what does this mean now? What is the show going to be now? And it, to me, it's the most exciting season that we have yet to get picked up for. But if we do, <laughs> I'm literally, I'm, I'm very excited to come back because I, it, yeah, just, I think it, it, be it opens up a whole new world yeah. for the Stitches program. So, yeah. so Kirsten's still hurting over what she perceives to be a betrayal by Cameron. What ultimately is it going to take for her to forgive him? Um, I think it, she's going to take Cameron figuring out his priorities. And I think it really takes him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop flirting with Zelda. I think it's going to take him. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really going to take him. Uh, seeing that he's really on her team and not Maggie's. Did you just see the musical episode in the you know, future that doesn't exist yet? We're just throwing ideas to free folks, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, so see, you want us. I know you're a musical kind of right guy. Now, so yeah. what kind of songs would you see for I feel like there would definitely be some sort of like, you know, like love ballad that he wins her back okay. with, you know, some like, definitely some like confessional maybe thing. Some that West Side Story. Maybe a little West Side Story. It's like oh, Maria, it's yeah. Kristen. Yeah. 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 So, and then I would be really excited to see Linus have like a giant Bollywood number. That would be like. <laughs> Because I don't Tesh know if you guys know, but he's like, actually he dance. a dancer, and he really does, so, like, he can seriously throwing all the ideas to freeform, and hopefully they'll let us do it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think it should be a flash, flash mob, you know? A flash mob, exactly. Sudden, like, and that's how Kirsten yeah. and Cameron get engaged. Cameron put them with a giant flash mob. I don't know, it's a soft pitch. We're working on it. <laughs> that's where you want to see the characters go? And it'd be definitely very cheesy for Cameron to do it, but yeah. Are you, are you like, seeing us? I think so. I feel, so that, I feel like, I definitely feel like there'd be some sort of thing. He, I could talk about this show for days. It, it will never end up on screen, but I've got so many different, like, you know, fan fictions in my, yeah. It's all right. I've got a lot of time in between seasons, plot. so, yeah. yeah. I keep it to myself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.